with the KX News Storm Team. Coming up on 547 here on Good Day Dakota. Welcome back. You were talking about the hot weather, so mm -hmm. my wife and I we were walking around downtown Bismarck yesterday, and then we got home and we and now we had lunch. And we didn't have that that big of a lunch, but we, we got home and we, we sat down and we went, boy, what what really hit us? I mean, it was just the you heat? know, it the was heat. yeah, mm -hmm. and we weren't walking around that much, and but we, it just shows you no matter you know, you can stay hydrated, but you yeah. gotta make sure. Yeah, I mean, and, and we're not exactly out of shape, but still, yeah, it and just we catches even up. a hundred yet. Yeah, right. I know. <laughs> yeah. Right, well, says the guy who is begging for a hundred degrees. I think you're writing that, but a yeah, bit, aren't you, you? Let's stay in the eighty. No, not necessarily. Yes, you yes. just you just gotta make sure you don't overdo it. <laughs> that's, okay. that's true. That is true. <laughs> well, we'll start this off on our satellite and radar. We see this round of uh, maybe some thunderstorms still want to hang around to the northwest. We'll see how long those last. We should start to dry off here over the next uh, few hours. Have a dry midday before another round of thunderstorms this afternoon with a chance of severe weather as well. Uh, temperatures right now got us sitting in the 50s out to the west as we move to the east. We start to warm up mid to upper 60s and we get the mid to lower 70s here in the south central as we move to our wind speeds and directions a little bit heavier than what we've seen yesterday but still up there 5 to 15 miles per hour maybe 20 uh, in the central portion of the state from the south southeast as we move out to the west from the northwest and these winds are going to pick up in some areas through the day. We'll see wind gusts up to maybe 30 34, uh, 35, 40, 45 miles per hour to the south central out to the east as you move out to the west. That's where we get that 25 to 30 mile per hour winds and really just going to stay like that through the day into tomorrow morning. Uh, but by Wednesday afternoon looks to calm down. Now we will have heavy winds with some of those thunderstorms that do pop up. But by the time we hit Thursday, winds calm down. They're going to pick back up for the weekend. We'll have wind gusts up to maybe 30, 35 miles per hour for Saturday and Sunday. Highs today uh, show that cooling pattern off to the west as well. We'll see the mid to upper 90s. 90s, lower 90s in the central portion of the state. Got some upper 80s as you move out to the west. So get mid to upper 70s. We even get some 60s out in Wolf Point. So way cooler out, out to the uh, west. And that's because of the wind speeds. Winds from the south are helping bring in warmer air in the south central. Uh, for our muggy meter, we are going to stay relatively muggy over the next few days or next yeah, few days. We can see through the day around that 50, 65 mark. Then we'll start to dry off uh, through the end of the week. By the time though we hit the weekend, looks to recover back into that 60, 65 range. Uh, looks to be maybe a little bit muggier weekend uh, than midweek. Your SBC outlook for today is showing that slight severe risk through the south central into the north northeast. Uh, the biggest concerns for today is definitely going to be that large hill development. Damaging winds could be possible. We're also going to see heavy rains, you know, maybe up to an inch or two in some areas to the south central. So going to be dealing with the round of this once again. As we move to our precision cast, it does show that develops later in or earlier in the day than what we had last night. And that's going to be right around 5 p.m. when we have those thunderstorms develop through that area that had that slight risk. You may even have some slight uh, severe weather out to the uh, west as well through the night into tomorrow morning. That's when it's going to last. We'll have probably thunder throughout most of the night and then we get dry through midday. Wednesday afternoon though, another round of isolated showers and thunderstorms form to the south central and then we get to Thursday. Looks to be the driest day of the week, but we'll still have some chances of rain, maybe even some thunderstorms. Your Williston five day forecast got us in the 70s today and we stay in the 70s all the way through the next five days. Uh, we'll have rain chances most afternoons with winds picking up for the weekend. Your Dickinson five day forecast 70s a day. Stay in the 70s through the next five days. Winds pick up starting on Friday. Your Minot seven day forecast, well, 80s today. Then we'll get to the 70s and stay in the 70s till Sunday. Then the 80s return for next week, but pretty much every afternoon is going to have a chance for some of those isolated showers and thunderstorms. Your Bismarck seven day forecast 90s a day, 70s all the way through Sunday. 80s return on Monday. And some days like Friday and Saturday could see maybe all day rain instead of maybe those isolated thunderstorms in the afternoon. Quite a bit of rain, I have to say, so mm -hmm. far this season. Yeah, definitely. Well, hopefully it yeah. concentrates in those areas where we do really need it. Yeah, definitely. Hopefully out west to mm -hmm. the northeast. Those areas that are still a little bit dry, yeah. hopefully this rain sticks there and helps them get out of that dry condition. Yeah, already better than what we had last year. Yes, definitely. <laughs> Thank you so very much. Coming up on Good Day Dakota,